So very welcome back to the channel guys and gals. Today we'll be looking at another thing I didn't know about C Sharp and we'll be focusing on the aggregate method. So the link method that you might know about, I was always a little fussy on some of the overloads so I thought time to straighten them out. And uh, let's see what I came up with. So the aggregate method is great for doing like calculations over a series of values and basically throwing in the result of the last iteration into the current one. So let's start at looking at doing that kind of logic without using link. So I have three values here, one, two, three, and a total. I'll loop through all the values and add to the total and print it out. So that should give us six. So let's try and do the same thing now using aggregate. So let's see values, aggregate. So the first overload here, we have three of them. The first one says, okay, give me a func of int int int. So that will be an accumulator function to be invoked on each element. So basically it's saying, okay, provide us with two ints, the sum of the previous of any previous iteration and the value of the next item our next item in in uh, the, the collection and since all we need to do here is basically add these two up I'm going to return sum plus next so this line now line 19 should basically do the same thing as uh, 12 through 17 so I'm going to run this and yeah we have six and six. Now let's say for, for our next overload of aggregate, let's say our logic dictates that the total should start at 10. Okay, so the next overload here says, okay, provide a seed of type T accumulate. So uh, in our case, that will be an int. So I'm going to say 10. And basically we're saying now you shouldn't start with the first item in our value in our values collection it should basically be this hard-coded value here so if we run these now they're on par again 16 16 and now let's say what we're actually what we want in the end here is like the total times two maybe so our last parameter here will help us with that. So basically it's saying now, okay, for the last parameter here, throw in a func which takes in a t accumulate and returns a t result. Okay, so I'm going to take in the sum, that's the accumulated value, and I'm going to return sum times two. So let's run these again. And these are on par again. So that's basically all the three overloads of aggregate. Uh, when I look at this now, since all we're doing is summing up these values, we could probably do this very easy by doing something like 10 plus values dot sum uh, times two. And we should probably stick these guys into some parentheses so let's see if I'm yeah 32 32 32 so that works but uh, of course uh, aggregate comes in handy if we're doing something more interesting than just adding up numbers so that's uh, that's all I got to say for this week guys and gals uh, great to see you again and I hope to see you in one week when we look at something else I didn't know about C sharp now have a great week my friends